Hi, Blood Talk fans. Today we are back to continue on the topic we left off last week, which is red blood cell morphology. We learned how to describe red blood cell in size and hemoglobin concentrations in the red blood cells. If you missed that, don't worry. You can go back to that after this video. Red blood cells come in different shapes and sizes, and that difference could aid in diagnosis. So it is essential for us at CLS to be able to distinguish them. Poikilocytosis. Poikilocytosis is a general term used to describe many different variations in shape. It is normal to have size variations, but if you see it all over the place, then that is when it becomes an issue because it could be a result of severe anemia. A candocyte. A candocyte is a term used to describe red blood cells with irregular spike. For this type of morphology, you can see a decrease in cell volumes and a normal MCHC. Here are some diseases associated with this type of morphology. Blister. Blister is a red blood cell that has an inclusion within the red blood cells. Blister cell is a normocytic, dense stain, clearing, or vacuoles on one side. This type of cell forms by the removal of an inclusion within the red blood cells. Here are some diseases associated with this type of morphology. Target cells. Target cell is probably the easiest to recognize so far. It looks like a target or like a bull's eye. Target cell usually are normocytic or microcytic, and the hemoglobin is ranged from normal to hypochromia. Target cells caused by membrane defects and excess membrane cholesterols and phospholipids and decrease hemoglobin. Here are some illnesses that you can see target cells present in the blood smear. Teardrops red blood cells come in various sizes. It could be normocytic, microcytic, or macrocytic. It usually have normal hemoglobins or normal chromic, but the distribution is a bit different. The hemoglobin is more concentrated at the tip. People also refer to this teardrop shape as pear shape with a single elongated point. This type of morphologies could be the result of red blood cell passing through the spleen. Here are some illnesses that you can see target cells present in the blood smear. Sickle cell, it usually a normal cytic with our occurring zone in the center. The shape is thin, elongated, croissant shaped with pointy end. This type of cells present in the abnormal hemoglobin S. The cell, the cell becomes inflexible and deforms as it passes through the microcirculations of the spleen. Many single cells reverse back to normal shape, reversible cell shape thicker and rounder with no pointed ends. Here are some diseases associated with this type of morphology. Burst cells. Usually we only see a small number of burst cells, but if you can find them in a large number, they are usually artifacts due to specimen's contamination. This type of cells is usually normocytic and normochromic. The shape could cause by depletions of ATP, exposure to hypotension solutions, and specimen contaminations. Here are some diseases associated with this type of morphology. Eleptocyte or ovulocyte. Eleptocytes or ovulocytes are sometimes used interchangeably. In some textbooks, it does distinguish between elliptocytes and ovulocytes. Ovulocytes are more egg-shaped and elliptocytes are more pencil-shaped. The site is usually normocytic, normochromic. And here are some diseases that it can be associated with. Chitocyte. Chitocyte is human cells. It is a unique type of fragmented red blood cells that are in the shape of footballs or helmets. This type of cells also call bite cells. The fragmentation is produced by damage to the membrane of the red blood cells. The damage occurs during the passes of the red blood cells through fibrin strands. The fragmentation can also form as the red blood cells pass through damaged heart valves. And here are some diseases that it can be associated with. Spherocyte. 
Spherocyte is used to describe blood vessel that is in a circle shape. It is irreversible, trapped by the splint, and removed from circulation. The cells are small with no occurring zone in the center. Spherocytes may occur as a part of normal aging process of red blood cells. And here are some conditions that you can see spherocytes in the patient's peripheral blood smear. Lastly, stomocytes. Stomocytes are more often artifacts than a true manifestations. They are normocytic, normochromic, and a bowl-shaped cells with a slit-like areas of central pillar. The defects known to have an increased permeability to sodiums, and here are some diseases that it can be associated with. And next, let's look at some cells and you tell me what you see. I will show you a picture of red blood cells and you will describe the red blood cell using terminology that we just went over today. Thank you for staying with me until the end. What do you want to know next? Do you want to know more about blood bank, chemistry, or microbiology? If you have any burning questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Lastly, if you have not done so, please like, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell. I will see you in the next episode of Blood Talks. And as always, remember, your blood tells you the story of your health. Thanks for watching. Bye.